There are 26 new books that have very unique effects. Some of these are going to fundamentally change the way you play the game. The Friendship 101 book is of the utmost importance. This book will allow you to befriend people ever so slightly quicker. So get this as early in your playthrough as possible. Buy it from the bookseller for 20,000 gold or get lucky with prize tickets in Mayor Lewis's house. Do not delay getting this book. There are two books that you need to obtain as soon as possible, The Way of the Wind Part 1 and 2. Each of these will increase your movement speed by a tiny amount, it's small but not insignificant, especially when paired with double speed buffs from beverages and food. Buy these from the bookseller, 15,000 gold for Part 1 and 35 for Part 2. Speaking of speed, utilizing your horse with these speed buffs will turn you into a speed demon. Fortunately, there is a book that will increase the speed of your horse as well. Horse the book for only 25,000 gold at the bookseller. Here is a comparison of the horse with no books and the horse with all three books. Not bad, right? Book of the Stars is a very important book that you need to buy every single time you see it. This will give you experience in every skill in the game which is pretty great on its own. It will also give you mastery points which you will need to stockpile as soon as possible. You can also trade this book in for 8 servings of fairy dust. Buy this from the bookseller for 15,000 gold. As you play the game, you will randomly find mystery boxes. You can crack these open at Clint and these can hold all kinds of semi-valuable items. The reward we are looking for is the Book of Mysteries. This book will increase the chances of finding more mystery boxes. You can only use this book once but you can get it multiple times. Trade the extras in for 7 mystery boxes, nice. There is a mod that allows you to see the price of items in your inventory. Well now there is a book that does that. It's called Price Catalog and it only costs 3000 gold from the bookseller. You can buy multiple of these but they cannot be traded for anything so don't do that. Woody's Secret is a very rare book. This will give you a 5% chance to get double wood when chopping down a tree. But you can only get this by being lucky and it being dropped from chopping down trees. I'd recommend growing rows and rows of trees with the sole purpose of being chopped down. If you somehow get more than one of these, trade them in for 20 hardwood. The Animal Catalog is a simple yet important book. This will allow you to use Marnie's services even when she isn't there. You can buy it from her for 5000 gold. Get it early. Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. A book that will permanently increase your defense by one. It might sound insignificant but when paired with your boots and defensive food, you can become quite tanky. You can only use this once so if you get any duplicates, trade them in for some stuffing. This can be found from artifact spots or by simply buying it from the bookseller for 20,000 gold. You already know that you can get treasure from fishing and with the latest update we can now get golden treasure with better loot. Well. The Jewels of the Sea book will give you a chance to get fish row from treasure chests. Not that useful but required to complete the collection. Buy it from the bookseller for 20,000 gold. You can only use it once so if you have any extras trade them in for the jellies used to craft the fish smoker. The Adventurers Guild closes later in this update and in here at the back by this box. You can only click on this after defeating a total of 1000 monsters. In here you will find a book called Mapping cave system. This has nothing to do with caves but it will reduce the price of Marlin's item retrieval services by 50%. The Monster Compendium book is the best one out of all of them. Get this by defeating countless enemies and getting lucky or buy it from the bookseller for 20,000 gold. With the knowledge from this book, any enemy you defeat will give you a chance to get double the loot. Similar to the burglar ring, so ensure to combine it with the burglar ring. If you have duplicates of this, you can trade them in for slime incubation machines. The Stardew Valley Almanac is another simple one that will give you some farming experience and mastery points. 10,000 gold at the bookseller or as a prize at Mayor Lewis's house. You can also trade them in for some pepper poppers. The Combat Quarterly book will give you some combat experience. Once again this will also increase your mastery points and you can snag this from the bookseller for 5,000 gold. If you do happen to find this randomly out in the wild and have no use for it, trade it in for some monster musk. To obtain perfection, you will need to know every cooking recipe in the game. You can usually get some of these by watching the Queen of Sauce on Sundays and Wednesdays. But the Queen of Sauce cookbook will teach you every recipe you can get from that channel. It does cost 50,000 gold but oh, is it worth it. 
This is how fast you can normally run if you are running through crops or grass. You tend to run much, much slower. The old Slither Legs book would allow you to run considerably faster in grass and crops. It will cost you 25,000 gold, which is steep for what it does, so maybe wait until you can easily afford it. Listen here, trash is not trash anymore. There is a secret item that can be obtained from digging in the trash called the Trash Almanac, with some very interesting decorative pieces. Since you will be digging through the trash so often, get the Alleyway Buffet, a book that increases the likelihood of getting loot from trash cans. Get this by going through this hidden path and clicking on this golden trash can. Easy. Selling ancient and rare artifacts will get you almost no money. It's quite the scam. Well, the treasure appraisal guide will increase the selling price of artifacts. It's not by much, but it's something. Buy this from the bookseller for 20,000 gold or get lucky and find it in an artifact trove. Any extras can be traded in for three artifact troves or for some spicy eel. On the fifth floor of the volcano, you will find this dwarf. They will sell you a book called The Diamond Hunter. This does cost 10 diamonds, but it will be worth it. With the knowledge from this book, any rock you hit will have a chance to drop a diamond. You heard me right, any rock. Not sure how likely it is, but worth a shot. You need to catch 10 squids at the annual squid fest during winter. With squid bait, this easy task will get you the Art O Crabbing book. This will give you a very impressive 25% chance that crab pots give double loot. That's 1 in 4, very good odds. Woodcutters Weekly is another one of those simple books that you can buy from the bookseller for 8,000 gold. It will give you some farming experience and mastery points, and you can trade these in for 100 wood. Our favorite dwarf in the mine that usually sells us bombs now has a book for sale. The Dwarvish Safety Manual for only 4,000 gold. This book will reduce the damage you take from bombs by 25%. This will save you food in the mines when using those pesky mega bombs. The bait and bobber will give you some fishing experience and it only costs 5,000 gold. If you struggle with fishing, get these until you are a higher level and your fishing bar is bigger. If you have extras that you don't need, trade them in for 20 deluxe bait. Mining monthly, gain some mining experience and some mastery points. Can be purchased for a very modest 8,000 gold and can also be traded in for 20 coal. The Raccoon Journal Book will cause weeds to yield more wild seeds, which is great and all, but if you have a golden clock, there will be basically no weeds on your farm. Not ideal. Anyway, to get this, repair the big tree with 100 hardwood, then fulfill the request from your new raccoon friend. Wait 7 days and fulfill the next request. There are more requests to fulfill, but we only need 2 for the Raccoon Journal. If you are not lucky like me and got it as a reward for fulfilling the request, you can buy Buy the book from his wife for 1000 fiber. Best of luck. Don't forget that you can buy a calendar from Robin and have it right next to your bed so you know exactly when the bookseller will be in town. Never miss an opportunity to purchase an amazing book. That is every skill book in Stardew Valley and this very important video has the 20 things that you need to do first in the 1.6 update. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more but for now I will see you in the next video.